Hello, that. Mr. Rolston. So, there are people on the planet who think that if you're not physically doing work, that you're not doing work. So this is a demonstration of doing work without physically doing work. This is called the planning, the, maybe it's the introspective phase of work. Oh, Dutch angle. Mm. <laughs> so up here, as you can see, we have a motor for a garage door opener hanging on some rope. And we can see an anchor point over here that it needs to be attached to. The old one had a longer, I don't know, rail, Arm. longer set of rails or whatever. The motor was in a different place. So I'm trying to decide where to put the anchor point. Now, as you can see the old one, someone decided we'll just screw it right into the wood of the roof truss. But I don't have a roof truss right over my motor here. And uh, so I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm executing some, or I'm allocating mental energy to decide how to fix this. And I say that counts as work. Some people, such as my wife, don't agree. My wife only sees work when there's people doing work. You know what? Worky, worky, worky. This is a perfect shirt for Alan. It says, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it better. No. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry your expectations are not being met. But I'm sorry your expectations are unreasonable. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. What are you doing now? Taking this other one out. You want to look at your fans? Oh, my fans. <laughs> You're one fan, Sheila, and sometimes Graham, sometimes Jerry. You know, the world doesn't need fans, does it? Sure does. I watched the social media, something or other on Netflix, showing what a horrible phenomenon it's turned out to be. Yeah. How it's programming people to basically fight. Scary stuff. Go watch it. There he is. A courageous, courageous husband is way up there on a ladder. If I climb that high, I freak out. And he pass gets out. mad at me, pass out. Just pass out. Anything else to say for this clip? Don't do drugs, stay in school. <laughs> so, Mr. Rolston, how's that going? Oh, well, it's not going as easy as I hoped. Because they didn't send all the parts. Well, the box didn't have all the parts, but then some of the things they did in the video as sometimes that happens in the video. It looks a lot easier in the video than it is in real life. For example, stretching the chain and the cable to the point where we could connect it the way they wanted to connect it was not fun. Pretty tricky. It was pretty tricky. We didn't get mad at each came other. We almost came to blows with the machine, <laughs> not with each other, the machine. Yeah. So let's show them what we've got. Where? The motor's up, the motor's mounted. The motor goes to the top of the garage door. And now he's doing the little special sensors so the garage door won't come down on my head. Mm -hmm. More later. All right, ready, set. I claim this land in the name of do-it-yourself garage door opening. My God. Beautiful sight. Take that, the guy who said you couldn't do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, I just gotta adjust it now so it goes as far as it needs to go. So this is your final video. Do you have any final words? How wonderful your wife was to help you and all that jazz. Oh yes, I had the best help. If I didn't have all the support of my wife, I never would have reached this pinnacle of success in the garage door installing field. 
Don't quit your day job. There we go.